Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a Swarovski crystal horse. We begin by sketching three interlaced circles. Up to now this is the best technique I have found for drawing horses. We use them to make the shape of the body. The upper part of the circles on the sides are the points that will be higher because that's where the shoulders and the hip will go. The belly hangs slightly on the lower side. And on this side we will have the neck. And here will go the head. First we sketch it with a more or less triangular shape. The tail will go over here and then we do the hind leg. Of course he's going to be pretty simplified with no muscles and all of that because it is going to be made out of crystal. I correct the head because it was a little big. Let's do the half, the other hind leg, and then we sketch the center of the front leg, which I want to get up to here. By the way, thank you to all who answered the question last week regarding on whether you wanted a tutorial on how to draw the head. Now I have learned that you do want it, so I will be publishing it in a few weeks. All right. We raise the lines that we don't need anymore and then we can begin coloring. We will use light tones since we will be representing crystal, such as a light gray, blue, green and white of course. The eyes goes black as it is painted. We draw small geometrical shapes because we want to do it Swarovski type. Right now I'm using color pencils with a greasy base. But the sketch that I did at the beginning, I did it with a white, dry pastel, chalk-like, because that one can be raised much easier and I knew I was going to make some mistakes. <laughs> so it was a good choice after all. We continue drawing the cuts of the crystal, except on the legs, because those are going to be smooth. If you are interested in learning more thoroughly the techniques of drawing crystal and the techniques for drawing other surfaces, I recommend you my book You Can Draw – Simple Techniques for Realistic Drawings, which is now available at Barnes & Noble, Michaels and very soon in Hobby Lobby across the US. If you live abroad, you may order it from their websites or from Amazon. As you see, I drew sparks of light scattered on the surface. Now I give it some even brighter reflections with an oil white pastel. Very good! With a square, I draw some lines to indicate the surface where it is standing. This should help it stand out even more. It's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips and I will see you on Tuesday.